This is a song that is the truth It's from the soul, it's from my heart And it's sad that nowadays there's no heart in music anymore It's a shame, but oh well I'm gonna keep playing And hopefully there's someone there to listen to me Just to take just one look at you. Yes, it's true. I'd even go through the depths of hell, even though I couldn't even tell my way through. to the vlog. Uh, I've left my phone somewhere so I can't tell you what time it is but I think we're approaching five o'clock in the afternoon. As you can tell I started quite early this morning, circa 7am and we've got a heck of a lot done considering that I've not managed to pick the camera up too much. We've done a couple more pours of the epoxy, the resin on the tabletop, on the worktop, on the bar top and we are starting to get a little bit closer to the final level now. I also spent most of the day trying to figure out how exactly, let me put this down. I also spent most of the day trying to figure out how exactly to keg all that vacant gesture that we've got. Um, about 500 litres, give or take a few. Now that's been sat, as you saw last week, if you recall, I transferred it into another FV, cold crashed it to four degrees, which is where I left it while we went to the coast for the weekend. Anyway, we've come back, it's been in there just under a week and it's matured really nicely, actually. I had a pint of it while I was doing the transfer, as it happens, and uh, purely quality control, of course. But it turns out that it is spot on. So we've got 17, 18, 30 litre kegs out of that. So we are sort of in the region of 500 litres, which is uh, pretty much maxing out the capacity of the kit. Good, I think, really good. The only problem is I've put them into keg, I've purged the kegs, they're, they're locked down. Uh, it's obviously not carbonated and it's getting warmer by the day. So I've dropped a bollock in one respect, but I needed it out of the tanks in the other, if you get where I'm coming from. So I definitely need to brew this week, hence freeing up the tank. And I also need to order some more Sankey fittings and a few little bits, a few John Guest fittings for the Sankey connectors so I can link them all up to the CO2 to carbonate without beer coming out the tops. You know where I'm coming from. The little bungs that go in the top of the Sankey fittings. So I need to get some of those ordered today. I've also ordered some stainless steel fittings, uh, just some reducing bushes off eBay because they were cheap and it was quick and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn them when I'm done with them actually. So I don't have time to go to GC Supplies and weld up the fittings that I want for connecting the plate chiller in place permanently. So I've basically just got a little stop gap with some reducing bushes so I can use my old silicon hoses on the new plate chiller. So hopefully they'll be here by Thursday which will speed up the process and then once we've got the pub put to bed I'll revisit that plate chiller probably at Christmas time 
and we're going to hard pipe most of the brewery in with solid stainless steel piping. I don't have time for any of that now. So that's going to go onto the back burner. What else have we done today? I've spent all morning as well, at least three hours, talking to energy suppliers about this place and of course closing down that place. <clears throat> they talk, right? Honestly, round and round. And some of them tell you plain porky pies. So you've got to watch them. So I've got a chap at Empower coming back to me tomorrow. They seem like, uh, once you get past the sales team, okay, and somebody who can actually help you out, you know that you're on the right track. Just don't sign up to anything on the phone with the sales team. Anyway, I digress. So we're past five o'clock. I've just done a four minute piece to camera and that feels like I've wasted half of the day. So what I want to do is get some of these doors that you saw me collect with Tom last Friday and sort of lay them out in front of this wall to give us an idea of exactly what I'm shooting for. Might even screw some up temporarily like just so we know what we're looking at. And uh, then I'll come back and I'll turn the camera back on for you then. We've also got some glass down here, look. This is for this piece. This is a piece of broken glass up here. So they'll be coming to change this. Well, it's here. They're coming to do it tomorrow. Oh, and we've also had the roofing guy out for the roof. He's been up there today, two of them on the roof all morning. Lico Fixto. Just need to come in and do that bit of plaster work damage and we should be rocking and rolling. Okay, let's get on with these doors. That's it love, quit it, quit, quit. 13. It's 13 hours my lad. There we go, Tuesday, day one. I'm gonna do quite a few of these long shifts this week, so, well, we'll see how tired I am come Friday, but yeah. Day one, mucho achievo, achieved. Does that make any sense? Don't drink all my black iris. I'm just trying it. Is it alright? It's okay, it's not my cup of tea, that one. No, because you normally drink tea. I do love a good cup of tea. Bye, does our last love a good cup of tea, does, does she ever? Mmm. Oh. East, East Mids Pale Ale. I'll drink to that, folks. We'll see you on the morrow. Ooh.